Hello, welcome. My name is Jenna Layden, and if you do not know me yet, I am a former global vice president for Whole Foods Market and the founder of Star Family Wisdom, which is an online community and educational platform for your spiritual and cosmic evolution. And I wanted to share a short video to say welcome. If you are just awakening, if you are going through a second awakening, awakening right now and really learning about your place in this world, this galaxy, this universe. Welcome. It's so good to have you. We've been waiting for you. And my awakening began about five or six years ago. So my background is as an atheist, very much logical science minded person and spent you know many years using data and analytics to help run a business and i started to have some very extraordinary experiences that after years of research into quantum physics the nature of consciousness how energy works in our universe i started having additional extraordinary experiences that led me to understanding my soul's origins, where my soul incarnates most, which is not here. My soul is used to incarnating in other civilizations, other advanced civilizations, and I have experienced ET contact. So my star family has contacted me telepathically, visually uh, with sightings and a number of other ways and uh, is guiding my work as a spiritual and cosmic guide and as someone who can help bring you along on this journey. So uh, the star races are here to support our evolution and they are very, very excited about the awakening that is happening on planet Earth. They want to be here with us during this time of change change and transformation. And while they can't physically be here in person with us right now, they are with us. And they are with us a number of ways. They are with us in the way that I am here with you now as a representative of them, as a type of galactic ambassador, able to channel messages and information from them. They are with us in our healing work. So many practitioners and healers on the planet right now are working with the star races to channel energy and to channel the information and practices and messages that will help humans transition from where we've been to where we are going. And they've been with us for thousands of years. They've been supporting the evolution of humanity for thousands of years. And the time has come for us to learn about our place here in the galaxy, in this universe, we're not alone. We've never been alone. We just went through a period of forgetfulness. It's a natural cycle that occurs for some planets. And at our dimensional level, our density level, it's so much easier for that sort of forgetfulness cycle to occur. And now that our position in the galaxy in the universe is changing, right? Because the Earth, our solar system, is constantly moving right through the galaxy, and the galaxy is constantly moving through the universe. As that positioning changes, we get exposed to different energies, and that facilitates this expansion of consciousness, which is happening now. So if you've been noticing that different things are happening, that you are starting to become more aware of different aspects of your reality. If you've had a uh, paranormal or supernatural phenomena occur, know that it's normal. We are going through a process of becoming a more advanced race, a more advanced version of humans. And within our DNA, our genetics, we have this ability to express a much broader um, kind of part of ourselves. We have this ability to expand our consciousness. We have this ability to reawaken latent 
capabilities um, that have been lying dormant for humans for uh, for a while now. And so this is such an exciting time for us to come together and to be having these conversations. And uh, I can tell you from my own personal experience, you know, having been an atheist and navigated this journey of, you know, understanding what was happening to me as my awakening was occurring, I understand if you're going through those moments of doubt, those moments of questioning, those moments of um, kind of wondering, you know, has everything we've been taught been a lie, that sort of thing. And while there are, you know, reasons um, for some of our history and, you know, societal norms being the way they are, know that it really just is this expansion of consciousness that is allowing us to see things differently, to notice connections across our cultures, to notice connections um, within, you know, each other, right, that uh, we couldn't see before, right? We even see that with, you know, the movements around the world, right, for uh, this climate crisis, for racial justice, right? We are opening our eyes in a way that we haven't had them open before. And that's an example of some very earthly things, right, that are awakening for us, but it's also happening on this other scale too, on this cosmic scale. So, so many humans are starting to have interactions with the star races. Many humans are starting to have interactions with uh, spiritual beings. Many humans are, in, are starting to remember past lives. Many humans are understanding the nature of their soul and how to transcend some of the polarization and the drama, right? That is played out here in our dimension on earth. So this is a profound, exciting time for us. There are plenty of challenges in the world, right, that we're facing, and it's a lot, you know, it's a lot, but it's also an exciting time because when we face those sorts of challenges, it gives us this opportunity to open our eyes. So over the next few months, I'll be sharing a lot more about um, what I know to be true. I'll be sharing more about my star family, who they are, where they come from, what wisdom they have to offer the world and you at this time. I'll be sharing more about my journey as a soul and the times uh, I've lived here on earth supporting this sort of spiritual evolution. We'll talk about shamanism and multidimensionality and energy, and we'll talk about ways humans and ETs are interacting and ways you can make contact, and we'll talk about ways we can evolve spiritually and ways we can become more of who we are meant to be. So I'm so excited that you're here and that we're having this conversation. It needs to be had. It's time for us to have a different conversation. It's time for us to come back to our ancient wisdom. It's time for us to remember. It's time for us to remember who we are and where we came from. So I am your guide, your galactic ambassador, and your leader during this time of change. So I'm so excited that you're following along and we will have many more conversations about these things in the near future.